Hey guys, it's Mick here at AeroPower. I just want to point out a quick design feature that many helicopters have. So if you look at the tail fin here on the Robinson R44, uh, and if AJ's with the camera comes around so you can sort of see the angle, you might not notice normally, but most tail, or tail fins are offset at an angle, uh, but actually produces a thrust. So as we move forward in flight, and we have the airflow coming back past the helicopter, as it passes the fin here, it's actually deflected slightly, and we end up getting a force at the back of the helicopter from the tail fin pushing the, the back of the helicopter this way. And that basically offsets the, the torque effect of the main rotor. So in the hover, and normally we're using the tail rotor back here to produce the power to offset the main rotor and that torque effect. And as we start flying faster, we get a bit of airflow over the tail fin and actually starts to do some of that job of pushing and producing a tail force this way. So the faster we go, we can actually unload the tail rotor and some of that energy then goes back into the into the, the whole transmission system and we can use that for the main rotor and actually need less power uh, to fly when it's going into the tail rotor. So sometimes you'll see a bit more of an aerodynamic shape where it looks like a, an aerofoil on a wing. So on one side of the tail fin might be flat and a bit curved on the other side, or sometimes the tail fin is set at an angle of incidence that's pointing off center to produce that deflection at the back of the helicopter. So there you go, next time you're around a helicopter, have a look at the tail and you might notice a little design feature like that.